Hello y'all, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is the start of an experimental Let's Play series I am doing for this type of game. How this will work is I will pick an individual character, and I will play as them and make videos of my experiences with them until they die. To get things started with a bang, we are going to play as William the Conqueror in 1066. We are going to be using the High Middle Ages bookmark to get to our guy. Here's a quick rundown on William of Normandy as he is known at this time. He is a Norman. He is descended from Vikings. He is the son of the previous Duke of Normandy and his mistress, who were not married. And right now, he is trying to invade England. In real life, he did succeed in this, so let's try to emulate his success. Here is our starting situation in a nutshell. We're Catholic. We have six kids. We're a vassal of France. We have a huge army, and we're at war with Harold Godwinson, who is also fighting the Norwegian king at the moment. Our first move is going to be to raise our vassal levies and group all those soldiers together. And then once they're all together, we'll group them, we'll put them on the boat on our fleet and send them to Middlesex and take out London or whatever. I don't even, yeah, the city of London. We'll take out everything there. And if we run into Godwinson's army, we'll fight him. His army should be relatively weak because he is dealing with the Norwegians who should be attacking him somewhere around York or in that general region anyway. Our liege, the child king of France, is going to make William Chancellor of the realm. Let's accept that for now. Also, I've just noticed we're filthy rich. We have tons of wealth. So let's hire some mercenaries in the form of the... where are they? The, I don't want to get some too expensive. Let's get the Breton Company. We need potential allies in the future, so let's set up our firstborn son, who is a count, to marry a member of the royal family of Denmark. We put the English capital under siege. Sadly, our enemy had the same idea, because they sent a small army to put our capital under siege. We defeated the Anglo-Saxons in Normandy. Now we just gotta hope the Holy Roman Empire doesn't ransack our holdings. They're fighting France, you see. Things don't look so good for Harold Godwinson, who is down to 5,000 levies at this time. If we take the counties of Bath and Bedford, that would be a huge blow. An army belonging to Harold Hardrada has been spotted. Let's go attack it in order to weaken the position of our rival, for the throne. It would do us much good if we took the holdings Norway is occupying in England. If we did all that, it might just be enough for us to complete the Norman conquest. Well, that's one war over with. Now we just have to crush the last of the Vikings. I'm looking around and I just noticed William the Conqueror's wife, Matilda, I think. She's from, she's Dutch. But anyway, she's a dwarf. Interesting. The Normans and Norwegians are battling for the fate of England. Both William the Conqueror and Harald Hardrada are involved in the fighting. If you're wondering what happened to Harald Godwinson, well, he's the Duke of Bedford now, and he is also our prisoner. The King of Norway has been pushed back. This is the perfect opportunity for us to retake York and the neighboring provinces around it. You know how we were going to have William the Conqueror's firstborn son an heir marry a Danish princess? Well, that's not going to happen anymore because she disappeared or got killed or something. I don't know. So we need a replacement now. And with that said, let's have our heir marry a daughter of the Byzantine Emperor. We beat the Norwegians in yet another battle. We're going to try and win this war completely because if we are able to enforce our demands, we'll get tons of money and prestige. After a long series of sieges, it is official. Our foe no longer controls anything in our realm. The Norwegian invasion is done for. William the Conqueror shall have his kingdom. With the fighting over with, we can finally organize a coronation ceremony for our glorious king. William has contracted dysentery. Meanwhile, consumption, a.k.a. tuberculosis, is going around southern England. Adding to all of this, there is a peasant revolt we have to deal with in Normandy. Some guy who was sitting around in the court of the Count of Norfolk has decided to go and invade Brittany. Good luck with that. That's all I can say. It appears that we have a faction forming that wants to put Harold Godwinson 
back on the throne if they get enough support to do that anyway. They get enough strength, I mean. We can't be having that, so let's put Duke Harold of Bedford into an even deeper part of our dungeon to make sure he won't be leaving anytime soon. One of our vassals, the powerful Duke of Warwick, has converted to the Cathar heresy. Let's send him an ultimatum and demand his reconversion. William the Conqueror has caught tuberculosis. This is why you don't open the gate to the commoners to keep your brave trade. This is a lesson why you don't do that. It took six years almost, but the new King of England has officially completed his coronation. In order to get more wealth for England, we are going to go up north and extort tribute from Scotland. One of our counts died and we got his county. We inherited it. He did die under suspicious circumstances, but we did get free land, so who am I to question what happened? A Catalan man has decided to attack us with the aim of taking Bedford. I guess he has something against Harold Godwinson. With the Scots properly robbed of their money, let's go deal with this Iberian intruder. Oh, and by the way, William's face kind of got disfigured. The King of England is severely injured and he still has consumption. So with nothing to lose, let's go fight the Welsh. We fought the Welsh and friends in a big battle and look what we have here. The King of Brittany as our prisoner as well as the King of Palace as our prisoner. And this is the guy we were fighting a war with. So with him as our prisoner, the war is going to be instantly over. It's not enough to just have one piece of Wales. That's right, we are going to take out Dehubarth and add it to England, rather they like it or not. All of Wales has been put under Norman control. We can't make it a kingdom yet, but either way, territory-wise, it's part of our realm. I'm going to stop this video here. Will William the Conqueror live long enough to invade Ireland? Who knows? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Have an awesome day. I'll see you all later. Bye.